Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what is Tomcat server and how it works. So without wasting any time, let's talk about what exactly is a Tomcat server. So first of all, Tomcat server is an open source Java servlet container that enables users to implement multiple Java enterprise specs. These include website API, Java servlet and Java servlet pages. Moreover, the software holds the HTTP server and server container characteristics. Now the HTTP protocol enables you to access the website content on the server. Using HTML coding, you can display static content on your website or send the data to the server. In return, the server then manages all of these functionalities which run on the HTTP protocol to produce outcomes in a safe environment. Usually the status websites operate on the HTTP server. However, if you're willing to display the content on a dynamic website, you should consider servlet. Now since the web content is serving using the HTTP server, the container needs to operate the servlet. Therefore, when combining the servlet and HTTP, you tend to achieve the Tomcat Apache. Now let's talk about how does Apache Tomcat work. Now to better understand this thing or the flow of the information, let's take a look at this. So you can see that the web client accesses the web server and makes a request. Then the web server goes for the Java servlets. The Java servlet access the web.xml or any annotation and if that particular request is not found or if that particular web page is not found then, then the Java servlet responses with a 404 status code which is a page not found. And in case the page is found and if the web page is found then the servlet in it is invoked and the information is onloaded to the servlet. After that the servlet service is invoked and the resource is returned to the web client. Once the resource has been returned, then the destroy servlet is invoked. Now that was a very generic overview. Now the thing is that this application provides access to a browser because Java apps share similarities to websites but differ in some ways. Further, since users are familiar with the web application, Apache Tomcat has become the most appropriate tool for serving these websites because it is lightweight, fast and it is much better than its alternatives. Moreover, the servlet specification only expect to handle a specific part of the data transaction process. Servlets never listen to the particular port's request. They also do not directly communicate with the client and take responsibility for managing the resource accessibility. The servlet container, Tomcat, handles these things. Additionally, it allows services to get reused in various different environments. After that, let's talk about some of the advantages that we get with Apache Tomcat. So the first and the foremost is that it is an open source application. This basically means that anyone can use it and anyone can modify it according to their needs. Other than that, it is highly flexible. Tomcat contains a built-in customization option which provides the advantage of developing the application. It is highly flexible because you can tweak the application in any way you want and it will perform appropriately and generate excellent results. Other than that, it has an additional security. Now with Apache Tomcat, users get additional security. Usually corporates like to put their data behind firewall protection. So that is why installing Tomcat, so that is why installing Tomcat helps them in securing their data. Other than that, it is highly lightweight. Usually enterprise level application development requires the support of lightweight applications to run smoothly. And since Apache Tomcat is lightweight, you can acquire fast data processing power that makes content development. Other than that, we have stability. Now Tomcat has undergone several important updates, making it a highly stable platform on the web. Even if one of the features fails to run the application, the remaining server will run well without any interruption, making your application live all the time. Other than that, we have the well documentation. So Apache Tomcat is well documented as it provides comprehensive information to developers willing to learn the Tomcat application development. Now various web tutorials including installation guide, startup settings, platform support and server configurations are available for Tomcat. Now since we have talked about the major advantages of Apache Tomcat, we should also discuss the major disadvantages of Apache Tomcat. There are not a lot of disadvantages but the first and the foremost is that it has a primary user interface which is not of high quality. Other than that, in terms of static analysis, Tomcat is not as fast as Apache. Users usually face problems in installing SSL with Tomcat. Other than that, some users reported that Tomcat has a memory leak. Anyways, if you want to deploy Tomcat on cloud hosted platforms like Azure, AWS and Google Cloud, then simply check out the videos that are linked in the description box or check them out in our channel. 
And if you want to learn more information about what is Tomcat and how it works, then you can simply check out the blog that is also linked in the description box. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.